Aloha everyone, David Tatera here again with CryptoTutorials.org. Today I am going to show you exactly how to solve that price impact to high error uh, that you get all the time in PancakeSwap. So do me a favor, tap that little yellow like button, smash that big red subscribe button, and let's get started solving this. Warning, I am not a financial advisor and this is not investment advice. Seek a professional. Quickly, I want to let you know we are still offering our $97 Airdrop Masterclass totally free. Uh, if you haven't taken this yet, please take the time and do it for yourself. Literally thousands, tens of thousands of dollars in crypto is given away every single month for free with these airdrops. Uh, last year, Uniswap gave away 400 tokens. If you look at the price of a Uniswap token, that's over $15,000 right now. Um, just for free crypto, you could have gotten last year for testing a platform. Would have taken you a few hours at the absolute most. In fact, probably just a few minutes. But, um, but yeah, go to getmyfreecrypto.com and make sure you take a chance to, to look this over and do the masterclass. You will learn so much from it. All right. Okay. So I'm going to show you through a little bit of a, how to solve this price impact too high um, error that we, see, that we sometimes come across. So here's one where I'm getting it. You can see I'm, I'm trying to buy this new token blast um, and it's giving me the price impact too high error here. And then if you look here at the bottom, you can see what it's quoting for the price impact. 89.45%. Um, there must be almost no liquidity whatsoever in PancakeSwap for this token because me buying 0 0.008 BNB, which is about two and a half dollars, US dollars worth of BNB, is going to send the price of this 90% up. So it can't complete the order because that's just um, too big of a range. Theoretically, I could probably go in and set my slippage tolerance. That's one of the things I can do is to bump up my slippage tolerance. Slippage is how much I'm willing to allow the price to change between there. And for these alt tokens, I usually keep it up around 12%. Um, that tends to work. But you can see even having done that i'm still not getting anywhere so what i have to do in order to complete this transaction is to go the smaller amount it's really frustrating um but there's there's not really another way and as you can see i dropped it to 0 0.002 and now i'm down to 60 percent price impact which is still too high And at 0 0.0005, I still have a 33% price impact, which is still too high. So let's add another zero in there. And now it has moved into something that is willing to let me do. So now my price impact is down to only 5%, um, which is under my slippage tolerance. So it's going to be willing to take that transaction. Uh, but as you can see, the only options you really have when you hit that price impact are to increase your slippage tolerance, which can give you a little bit of a, a bump depending on where you need to go. Uh, but really, mostly it's about taking smaller orders and buying less than you wanted. 